But I also think it depends on what kind of man we're talking about. I yeah. mean, how you're saying you're financially, you know, like stable. But I think for most middle class, lower class men, I mean, it probably sure. is going to matter, you know, what your girl yeah. is doing. You'd probably want a woman with a little bit more ambition because you can't financially afford um, to, you know, well, I will have her work. Say, sure, I see what you're saying. I would say the economic reality of, for the vast majority of people, just it's a reality for most to be able to afford rent, mm -hmm. to be able to mm -hmm. raise kids. Uh, most people are going to need a dual income household. Exactly. Yeah. However, what I would say to that is, I don't, even for that guy who's middle class, low class, what, uh, mi what is it, middle class, whatever, um, he probably, like, if he meets a girl that he really likes and she makes less than him, pro like, she's a barista and she's hot and she is pleasant, feminine, whatever it is, he's probably, like, I think for men, it's not gonna be an immediate disqualifier. Like, mm. whereas you as a woman, if you're looking for a husband, mm. the guy who's working a minimum wage job is, pr mm. like that's from the get-go is probably not gonna do it for you. I know a lot of you guys are a bit on the younger side. You're probably not overly, at this point in your life, you probably don't give a fuck about, yeah. Yeah. like you're dating college guys, they're right. not making any money or they're working a, you know, so at this point in your life, you probably don't care, right? right. But yeah. I think once you get into your mid-20s, mm -hmm. late 20s, it's going to be much, mm -hmm. much more part of the equation because uh, it's important. I mean, if you want to have a kids, you want to have family, mm -hmm. finances is a component to it. Yeah. But from a guy's perspective, and Ryan, if you want to weigh in, like, does it matter to you? Because it doesn't matter to me. At yeah. All. I was going to say, how would you ladies feel if you're on a date with a man and he said, I have a really cool fossil collection? Aw, he's yeah, rich. You'd be like, oh, well, how, like, you would, collection. you'd probably think, oh, that's nice. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, good for you. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And that's how men feel if you say, I'm a lawyer. Oh. Um, like, <laughs> man, it's like... <laughs> Hey, that's dope. Like, I don't cool. think the, I don't think fossil and lawyer. I think I, yeah. I think it needs to be a different. Yeah. No, that, well, that's what I'm saying. It's like, <laughs> like uh, I, I even had a friend. He he was talking to this one girl, and she kept flexing. And I'm a this attorney, and I can do this, and I've done. Here's my business, and a lot of girls sometimes don't realize that that's the equivalent of me telling you, "Well, check out my Jordan collection in yeah. my uh, thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's dude. so cool. It's like congratulations for you, but." I don't really care that much. Yeah, men don't um, give a shit. Men yeah. don't care. I get it. So yeah. that's not. The, but the, you guys were kind of getting into like a semantics thing where it's like, well, what if she's doesn't clean herself or doesn't and just stays in a room all day? <laughs> no. And that's like, now nah, obviously you want a girl that is fit and yeah, is you know friendly and doing all an upkeep and shit like that and goes to the gym, yeah, all that shit. But, but I f I feel like a girl saying that she's like a lawyer and has all these accomplishments, she probably worked harder than someone who has a fossil collection or whatever like i think i think you're missing the it's like a equivalent comparison so just the same way that you would feel if i yeah. said check out my fossil collection that's how i feel when a girl says i started my own company i'm like dope i that's nice for you mm -hmm. that's the only way i can do it it's, it's they're not the same thing they're the male versus Just female have, viewpoint. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you're not able yeah, to I mean, feel that. And I've, I've, uh, I've dated mm -hmm. hyper successful women. Mm -hmm. I've dated, I dated an orthopedic surgeon. I dated a Damn. doctor. I dated a physician. I dated a f physician's assistant. <laughs> dated a. <laughs> we see, a, we see a pattern. Like, yeah. Yeah. like uh, let's see. I've, uh, there was a, oh, a. Uh, pharmacist a bunch of nurses too many fucking nurses uh, <laughs> I think you got a type you fucked the whole hospital yeah. <laughs> for real <laughs> pretty much uh, dentist dentist yes dental, actually. dental oh, tech wow. wait yeah dentist or the tech Dent, where are you finding these dentist women? yeah dating apps Oh, dating apps. An esthetician? Do you look for a certain yeah. niche? No, no. Like, you look at... No, I mean, it, it looks happens. like you have a pattern. You're saying you don't care about what they do, but no, you're but obviously I'm, like, no, but I, I mean, a pattern. <laughs> I mean, what I've noticed, though, is... Uh, th th that's not, like, the type I... Of the women I've been in relationships, no. Um, but these were, like... When I say... I, I should clarify. When I say I've dated, went on a couple dates, that's that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and honestly, when, like, a woman who's a doctor, that's 
awesome. I'm sure she's incredibly intelligent. And I do care about a woman's intelligence mm -hmm. because I do think to some degree intelligence does have a genetic basis and I would like my children to be intelligent. So, and, uh, but I will say when it comes to like women who are hyper successful, they're obviously, and that's wonderful, they're very focused on their career. And if I'm looking for like a long-term relationship, I'm looking for someone to have kids with, I do have concerns over, well, what if I want more of your focus on our children mm -hmm. than your career? Or what if I want you a little more in like focused on me than your career? Now, most women are going to say no to what? To no, I'm not going to give you more because I've worked so hard to build my career and be where I am. Exactly. Yeah. Most but, women are going to be like, no. Nah. Right. And yeah. so, and also I think women who are super successful, hyper successful, especially like a woman, like we could say that a woman who's a doctor or who are a lawyer, mm -hmm. these, pe these are people who are known for working really insane hours. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now I think women are smarter because women do try even in these hyper, um, hyper successful careers to try to prioritize more of a work-life balance whereas you have men who will go like 70 80 hours a week women are just and women do that too but i think women do typically tend to more so than men prioritize more of a healthy work-life balance which i think is smart mm -hmm. because us men we work insane mm -hmm. but um and so do women but i think women generally speaking my understanding of the the data women do tend to prioritize more of a work-life balance um Manly she's too busy. She's too busy. She's too busy. Yeah, the busy. orthopedic yeah. surgeon. Sorry, Brian. Got fucking. Got to do some. Yeah. Cut up some bones and shit. I'm like, cool. <laughs> You're like, shit. I got like two hours a week for you. What you want to do? Yeah. You know, yeah. like, yeah. So I would like a woman who's maybe got a little more free time. Mm -hmm. There's that component to it. Um, and those are very stressful jobs too. Mm -hmm. That's like uh, people in the healthcare yeah. field. Yeah. Uh, very stressful. Yeah. I think Sometimes. the rate of physician burnout is like really high. Mm -hmm. They work insane hours and it's a stressful, it can be a stressful job. I actually heard that alcohol, alcoholism rates among doctors and attorneys mm -hmm. is much higher than in the general population. Mm -hmm. uh, the incidence of self deletion is mm -hmm. higher in that cohort mm -hmm. of people too. Uh, so it's a very stressful job. Mm -hmm. Also, a woman who's an attorney, I think they're. This, is, this applies to both men and women, but typically attorneys are very disagreeable temperamentally. Mm -hmm. You have to be kind of mm -hmm. very disagreeable. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like women who are attorneys probably have to step into their masculine a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, and You're gonna tell her to get on top and she's gonna say, object. I fucking object. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Are you, get on top of what? She objects to getting on top. That's what I'm saying. Oh, sorry. I totally... I'm sorry. Hold on. I missed that one. Here, let me... We got to move on to uh, John Dalt here. 